Hi right, guys, so I've just done my uh, cardio on the, uh, uh, well, my, my drills, my shadow boxing. Um, I proceeded that with, uh, with about 10 minutes on the bike, which I didn't film because I couldn't set up the camera. It's cold today, as you can tell. Um, but I did uh, a lot of my sparring on uh, um, uh, in, yeah, shadow sparring, as I say. But when I use a uh, something to resist my punches, I don't use the bag here because it's too light. So I, I hit the wall instead, or um, a corner of the wall. Um, I don't know what it looks like, um, but it's a good way to toughen your fists. Because my dad always used to tell me when I was younger, you want you want tough fists, go punch a tree. And that's what we used to do as kids. We used to punch trees as hard as we could, and I still do it now as an adult as a training. Um, it's a great way of toughening the fists. And there's a particular breed, so I'm dribbling. <laughs> there, there's a particular breed of tree. That's a, a soft, absorbent bark. So it, it, it still hurts because you're hitting the tree, but it, it, it doesn't break your knuckles when you're not used to it because um, it's quite soft to hit um, and it absorbs some of the impact. But just to show you, you know, kicking walls, um, kicking walls. 
ain't much more fun either. I'm in my fists, as you can see, tough as anything. They don't take any damage really um, from, from, from that kind of stuff because they're used to it, as I say, used to punch trees. But um, yeah, my leg is, uh, is uh, it's just part and parcel. People ask, well, why do you kick walls? Um, I say, well, first of all, walls don't move. So if I can move the wall, if I can break the wall, I'll break someone in two when I kick them. <laughs> but it's not just that, really. That's the bravado of it all. The, the, the true reality is, why do I kick walls? Because there's no bag out there hard enough, really, or heavy enough, really, to, to resist a full-powered kick that I throw without swinging everywhere. And it's just annoying. Same with the punch hit. Well, more, more so with the punches than the kicks. Because um, the kicks, you can always kick a moving bag, and it doesn't really matter too much. But if you punch a moving bag, your, your wrist goes into the... So the, the bag swinging like this, it'll go in and it'll break your wrist. You can't do any combinations. So I can't do combos on bags anymore. I'm not involving uh, upper body as well as my legs. But the other reason is kicking a wall is what it feels like to kick someone's shin. And I'm a Muay Thai fighter. And um, when you're a Muay Thai fighter, you kick bare shin. Uh, and you kick one another bare shin. You block with your shin against their shin. And uh, kicking a wall is very much similar, similar feeling, and um, the pain that it that it gives your bones on impact to kicking um, a, a person. Obviously, if the person doesn't use my type block, so they're not used to it or they're not trained in it, and they take their blow to the upper thigh instead, or just above the knee where you typically aim a Muay Thai kick, then um, you throw in as hard as you can and you will break their leg. You will damage their leg, seriously. Maybe not in the first kick, but it will, it will toll up and they'll, they'll have a limp for a very, very long time after the fight. So uh, I'm just gonna go to weight training now, just a little bit, I don't know what. Um, I'm a little limited at the moment because my left ankle is really hurting me. I, I broke my left ankle um, a few weeks back, about three, four weeks back, I broke my left ankle, so. Um, it's got orthopedic straps around it and everything holding it together. And I think if I took them off, my foot would fall off. <laughs> no squat or deadlift. But I might do some arms or something. And if I can film it, I'll let you guys know. If you don't see anything, it's just because Scott couldn't film it. But I wish you the best. <laughs> That was 70 kilos. I'm going to be putting 110 kilos on now. The bar on this weighs 30 kilograms, and there's an extra 40 kilograms of plate on there currently. So that's the work it out. The bar's 30 on, the, on this particular Smith machine, and then the number of plates that I add on. So I'm going to go find some 20s. Oh, that's Sod it, when in Rome, <laughs> I can only find 15, so at the moment there is 100 kilograms, 220 pounds on there that I'll be sure to press in, okay? Now there's 130 kilograms. Um, I put 15s on again. Um, 130 is equivalent to uh, about 290 pounds, roughly. Okay.
So I put a 10 on each side. I'm 850 kilograms. This is exactly 330 pounds. 330 pounds. That's enough on that right today. <laughs> that was my mat. That's pretty weak for me. I normally get to 160, but it's not too bad. I'm going to take off. Uh, I'm going to take it down to 100 kilos and do reps, okay? So I've burnt out there guys, um, not surprisingly I'm about to take some time off with my broken ankle and before that a little bit of flu and stuff. My muscle fitness is not there at the moment, uh, this is why I'm training the way I am, to build up my muscle fitness, uh, my overall endurance and cardio as well. Um, because obviously I don't want to be in the ring as an MMA fighter, have a lot of strength, a lot of power, all the technique in the world and fail because I puff out in the first couple of rounds because even if at amateur level if you're doing three rounds of two minutes that's a lot harder than you think guys get again to the end that third round is hard when you're not used to it because of the adrenaline and uh, because of your opponent as well especially if they're half decent but uh, a little bit of shoulder work there just to keep the muscle mass and strength and develop it a little bit but as you can see normally what I'd do is if I was training so I do some dumbbell work, maybe some other shoulder work, and maybe some soft laterals or something. But I'm not going to do that today because it's not my focus anymore. I'm not focusing on the weights. I'm using weights to maintain and develop a little bit of strength, uh, but I don't want to blow up because when I uh, do the weights consistently, especially without cardio, I pile on the size. I'm weighing 18 stone four at the moment, so I'm, I'm pretty heavy at the moment. So. You know, if I hit 19 stone by the time I fight, that would be great, as long as I'm lean. If I'm not lean, then uh, I'll just, I'll puff out, you know? So, I either lean up, and, or, or say what I am, even. I say what I am, but get fitter, and hit 19 stone, or towards that sort of mark. That's my, my target zone. Or, I uh, go down to say something like 17 stone 6, lean up a little bit keep a bit of fat on me because I do need fat for energy um, but be that lot a lot fitter and just not carrying an extra four or five pounds make me fitter if I took four or five pounds off I would be so much fitter because carrying that weight even though it's on your body ties you out anyway guys thanks for watching 
and I'll see you uh, hopefully tomorrow.